Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a really easy, really quick and cute makeup tutorial. This is my everyday makeup and it's also my going out makeup because I ain't got no in between. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this content. All the products that I use will be down below. If you want to see how I achieve this look, then keep watching this video and let's get into this tutorial. Since I'm sitting here in my bonnet, I want to segue and quickly talk about white girls wearing bonnets. If I offend you, <laughs> I don't care because I do not think that white girls should be wearing bonnets. It's unnecessary, they don't need to wear them. And I'm not saying they can't wear them in their houses, to bed, whatever. Like, bonnets are protective mechanisms, which is fine. I just don't think they should be wearing them on the street. And actually, I don't think anyone should be wearing them on the street. Like, I think it looks so tacky. Even black girls, I see so many black girls now going shopping in their bonnet, running their errands in their bonnet. It's trash. The bonnet is meant for your bed, okay? I don't wanna see these things outside of your house. It doesn't make you look cute. You don't look bougie. You look like a joke. But let's get into this makeup tutorial because that is what we came there for. And the first thing I'm gonna do is contour. Um, all I want to say before I start is trust the process because this is going to look crazy, but trust me, it's going to all come together and it's going to look lush. So I'm using my concealer stick from Primark. You know me, I love a cheeky bargain and this one is actually really, really good. Um, I think it was like 90p and I think it's called Espresso. Draw underneath my nose here. Colour it in like that. Then what you want to do is do a thin line going up the middle of your nose as well. I'm going to do it in the mirror. just like that then I'm just gonna contour my cheekbones underneath my lip my chin and then a little bit here on my jawline so you should look like this and then I'm just gonna dot a couple of um, lines on my forehead not too many because I've got a tiny forehead um, and then what I'm gonna do is just blend that out with a fluffy angled brush. Instead of blending it downwards, I'm gonna blend it up towards the top of my face. And then this section is gonna be blended down to like underneath my chin. Okay, so now you can see I look a little bit more bronze, um, but we're gonna lighten up the areas that need lighten up with foundation and with concealer. Just for my nose, I'm gonna take a little fluffy brush and then just go an up, what? <laughs> for my nose, I'm gonna take a little brush and go in an up and down motion and just um, blend that out in like a tapper motion because I don't really wanna move um, the contour. So I know I look crazy, but like I said at the beginning, trust the process, because trust me, it's gonna look cute at the end. So for my foundation, I use a flat angled um, brush like this. I'm using the Morphe foundation in color Rich 26. What I do is I do maybe like two pumps of foundation, and then I'll build up if I need more, but I don't like to put too much foundation on. So I will dab it here. And then where my contour is, I will kind of tidy it up by drawing a line um, underneath it, so. Can you see? And then I'll see like if I want it to be a bit higher, I'll probably start from here. So I'll just add a little bit more to the brush. I don't know why I did that, I've got no hair. <laughs> This is how we're looking right now. We're still looking crazy, but don't worry. It's gonna look <laughs> fabulous at the end. So now what I'm gonna do is, like I said, just use the excess just to tap around my forehead because I don't really like to have a lot of um, foundation on my forehead. I feel like it looks weird. So that's literally all I'm gonna do. Then now what I'm gonna do is do my under eye. So what I do is I put concealer, three concealers basically. <laughs> Bring the brush. Sorry, I put one concealer underneath my under eye and two concealers. So the first um, foundation is the Born to Glow by MYX and it is in the color Golden. So I basically just use 
like two little things of this three and basically i will use my fingers to um just blend that up Once that's all blended, I like to take it down into this section as well. And as you can see, I've taken it onto my nose. And then what I'll do is with my foundation brush, I'll use the back of it, so the bit that hasn't really got any product on it. And I will just blend out the bottom portion of this bit. Then with the foundation side of the brush, I'll go all over my nose and blend out that foundation with the original contour and I'll only do it a little bit because I'm also still going to put some concealer there so once I'm happy with that blend I'm going to go in with my first concealer which is going to be the LA Girl um, Pro Concealer in the colour yellow and I'm going to put this in the same place where I put the foundation so just underneath my eyes um, and I'm gonna pat it in an upwards motion again. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't put a lot of this because it's really potent. Potent? It's really strong, <laughs> strong. I don't know, it's just really, I don't know what the word is. But yeah, I'm also gonna take a little bit and put it in the middle of my nose where I think the light will hit. And then I'm gonna put it above the tip of my nose, like not on the tip of my nose, because that, in my opinion drags your nose down like that then i'm going to blend this out again with my fingers um so now i'm going in with my third and final stage of my under eye which i'm going to use my mua concealer i think it's focusing my mua pro base um concealer in color 146 um which is like a really creamy nude color and i'm gonna put this directly in the corner of my under eye and here and then again on the other side i'm gonna put it on my upper lip as well just to make it pop like that and then a little bit underneath my contour here then what I'm going to do is use my finger to blend all of that out and um, yeah we're getting somewhere now So now I'm going to set underneath my eyes and I'm using the Sasha Buttercup Powder. I'm going to use a fluffy brush to place the powder everywhere where I put concealer. So underneath my eyes and I will eventually put it underneath my contour as well. And then I'm also going to do my chin and then this area to um, just set my foundation as well because I just think it makes you look more structured. <laughs> give us slowly but I'm gonna set my smile line so what I tend to find is when I talk and when I laugh these bits get really um I don't even know what the word is they crease so what I'm gonna do is just take it on the brush and smile see that line right there patting the powder to it patting the powder to it pat the powder into it I don't know if I'm English sometimes then do it without smiling and then let that set and that will stop your smile lines from creasing okay so normally at this stage i will go in with my anastasia beverly hills palette which has like a contour kit so i would go over my contour with like a bronzer um but i can't find it and i feel like my mum's stolen it and um driving me crazy <laughs> okay so we're gonna freestyle um and i'm gonna just use a cream based contour rather than a powder one today i'm not sure how it's gonna turn out but we're gonna see so i'm gonna use the la girl um concealer 
the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Cocoa. So I'm just gonna dab a tiny bit. We're gonna do it here in this section and that's the only bit that we're gonna do it in. So I'm just gonna dab it like that. And then the same on the other side. And blend it upwards and back towards um, my hairline, so like this. Now I'm gonna go back in with the fluffy brush that I used to do my um, powder on my setting and I'm gonna just dust it all off. So what I'm gonna do next is take my Revolution um, Matte Fix Pro. I set my face with three different um, setting sprays because I'm dramatic. So the first one is mattifying because I do sweat a lot and this just helps me to not sweat in my face. <gasps> Annoyed. I've just got um, that concealer all over my hands and I actually hate setting it. I hate the freaking feel of it, but here we go. I literally drenched my face, so. So now I'm gonna do my eyebrows, and I'm gonna do them off camera because it's just easier. The next thing I'm gonna do is add a bit of color to my face. So I don't tend to wear eyeshadow. I normally would just wear like a bit of bronzer on my eyelids, but like I said, I can't find it. Um, and I'll put a little bit of orange as well. So I'm gonna take a fluffy little brush and just just do the corners on the outside of my eye. Then with like another little angled fluffy brush, I take the powder again, and I'm just gonna put it underneath my waterline, but just in the corner. So like here. And the same on the other eye. And then I like to just take it out just to sharpen the um, eyeshadow that we did earlier. Then I will blend it out one last time with that fluffy brush again, just to tidy it up, because I don't want it to be like super messy, but it doesn't have to be super neat either, because once our eyelashes are on, um, it just pulls it all together. Also, I would have preferred to put like a brown on top as well, but like I said, I don't know where my palette is, so. In saying that, I have a morph palette, Okay, I can't find it, but I found one of my other palettes. So what I'm gonna do is take a brown, um, like a bronzy brown kind of color. I'm gonna go for this one because I feel like that is closest to the one that I can't find. And I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and just put it in the like, um, and put it up here above the um, brow, above the brow, oh my God. Put it in the crease of my eye. I've just seen this burnt orange kind of colour. I think that's nice, so I'm gonna take that as well. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it um, and just put it on top of the brown. I'm now going back to my orange, my favourite, my baby. This is from Primark, by the way, it was 90p. Um, I'm gonna take this again and then just go on top of my, do like my liner with it. The next thing I'm gonna do is take back the orange um, blush and I'm just gonna do my blush basically. So I'm gonna take a big angled fluffy brush and um, just take some on and have off excess. Then what I'm gonna do is do like the highest point of my cheekbone and just pat it into place there and the same on the other side so
I'm only going to do one side first so you guys can actually see the difference. And then I'll go back in again. And this time I'm going to smile and then pat it upwards from where my um, apple of my cheek is. thing is on the camera I can't really see the colour but um, I've done this before and then I've added more and it's crazy so I'm trusting that I've put enough because it is quite a f um, rich in colour <laughs> so I'm going to do the same thing Then I like to do it one more time and do it under my chin, on my nose and on my forehead. I feel like it just makes you look a bit more bronzed and golden. Next I'm going to do my mascara and I'm using the Morph um, little baby mascara. It's called Make It Big. Um, this is actually really, really good. It was so cheap. I didn't buy the big one because I wasn't sure how it would be but... Trust me, probably the best um, mascara that I've used. Also, they have a primer which I really want to, which I really want to try. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is do my mascara on the top and bottom lashes. Um, so what I do is I just pull my eyebrow up and kind of paint the top of my eyelashes first, just like that. I don't know why I closed both eyes. The light is quite bright as well, so it's a bit hard. But then what I will do is I will brush upwards. Oh, let me turn this light down because I can't. Don't worry about getting it messy, like you can tidy that up after. And then you want to do the bottom lash as well. And you can see like it just opens up your eye you really want to make sure that you try and get every single lash okay so now that my lashes are done while they're drying i'm going to go onto my lips and then i'm going to finish off with my lashes and then we're going to be done so quick it's taken me like under an hour to do this so for my lips i'm using a lip pencil from kiko and it's in the color three two one i love this pencil like it's amazing it's not sharp and i'm not going to sharpen it because i'm lazy so we're just going to line your lips line my lips rather And I know this is giving like auntie vibes, but don't worry. <laughs> You're not going to look like an auntie. So once you line them, just rub them together. Mm -mm 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 then I'm going to use my golden palette highlighting kit from Revolution and golden sugar, sorry. And just highlight on top of my lip because I don't like to do it when it's got lip, lip gloss on it. So I'm just going to do the top. just like that and then just do the nose okay so I'm gonna get rid of this auntie lip I'm gonna use my NYX soft lip cream in Stockholm So this is what it should look like with the Stockholm. Then I'm just gonna go back in with the pencil and just touch up the corners. Then I'm gonna take my Morphe um, lipstick in the color Bare All. I'm gonna take that across the whole lip. 
then I'm gonna pat that. Then to get rid of like the purpley kind of tone, I go back in with my concealer and I put this in the middle of my bottom lip. Now I'm gonna set my face again with the MAC um, Fix Plus um, with gold in it. So I'm not gonna put too much because it is quite potent. I keep saying potent, that's not the word. It's, um, don't know, but yeah. Now I'm just gonna go in with a clear gloss on top of that, put some eyelashes on and then I will be done. So now I'm gonna do some lashes and show you the finished look. <laughs> 